We are live on YouTube, uh, ma'am. Yes. A very good morning to all of you, my dear students. RS Mulde Dhanampet Arts and Commerce College, Mahila Mahavidyalay. Rajkumar Keval Ramani Kanya Mahavidyalaya and Board of Studies in English welcome all of you to the BA online course Compulsory English Semester 1. And today we have an expert in English from RTM Nagpur University, Dr. Sandhya Jain. It is my proud privilege to introduce Dr. Sandhya Jain to all of you. Dr. Sandhya Jain is the Associate Professor and Head of the Department of English in Kamla Nehru College, Nagpur. She teaches English and English literature at UG and PG levels. She is the research guide for PhD students. Her research papers have been published in reputed journals. She has presented papers in national and international conferences and has delivered talks in conferences and refresher courses. She is the member of miscellaneous academic and social organizations. We are very fortunate students to have such a personality amidst us here today. Over to Dr. Sandhya Jain, ma'am. Thanks, Sardesh Pandey, madam, for a nice introduction of me. And now we, uh -huh. dear students and the other faculty members who are present over there, we are going to discuss the poem. The poem that is To Autumn by famous English poet John Keats. So at first, let me begin with my PPT, which I'm going to use to explain it. I hope so. Madam, is it visible, my PPT? So, dear students, Sir Deshpande, madam, my screen is visible now. It's okay. Hello. Hello. Deshpande, madam, Sir Deshpande, madam. Am I audible? Ha, yes, ma'am, I'm there. I'm there. Uh, uh, you can share your screen. Okay. Am I audible? Yes, you are very much audible. Very okay. nice. Huh. And my PPT? No, your PPT is not uh, the Achha. thing. You have to share your screen now. Achha. Okay, okay. Yes, ma'am, I'm there. Yes. Let me know if it is. Yes, yes. Now everything is fine. Yes, you are very much Very nice. So now I use it. Then in display mode is there. Right? It's okay. Now we begin with. To autumn. Huh. Uh, go to the first slide, ma'am. You are on the first slide? Huh. This is the first one. Okay, huh? okay, okay. Over to you. To autumn. So this poem, which has been written by John Keats, this tells us about the season autumn, but this has got the symbolic meaning as well. But right now, we are going to discuss it as it is. To autumn. At first, we have to see 
समथिंग अबाउट दी ऑटम ऑटम इन इंडिया वी जस्ट फील दैट इज अ पतझड़ इसको हम कहते हैं पतझड़ एंड द साइकिल साइकिल ऑफ सीजन वी हैव अ लिटिल बिट डिफरेंट in india and europe in england we can discuss you see what happens that's why in my slide see at first <coughs> in india we see the season winter right now we are passing through winter season that is the season of flowers fruits and papaya is there guava is there all the different types of fruits are there flowers are there and we have quite pleasant weather then after this comes autumn it means right now when we are just passing through by the end of january it is that my right now we can say this is the high time of winter season and quite pleasant weather in india but just as we move towards the end of january or the beginning of the february we can say the season this is the uh, we can say downfall of winter winter season it is going to come towards the end at the time this is the time of autumn january is and we can say and after that summer comes in india that is the summer season and the beginning of summer after holi that is the beginning of summer summer in india that is very unpleasant weather unpleasant weather and at the time nothing is there all the people they complete their activities farming etc <clears throat> nothing is there farm at the time <clears throat> sunlight is so high that we are difficult we are always inside or prefer being inside so that is the cycle and after summer then once again the rain is there then once again the winter comes then once again autumn but you see the cycle is a little bit different cycle of nature is different in europe in england what happens the summer is the pleasant weather over there summer summer that is the season when we can say the where the temperature is almost always i think um, not Oh, it is not more than thirty or twenty-five. That is the maximum temperature. So it, at least with this temperature, it is going to be pleasant over there. That is going to be in summer season. So summer is pleasant over there. After and that is the summer of season. Season of flowers. Flowers are there. Fruits are there. In summer, we have this type of season in winter, and they have this type of season in summer over there. that's why you see the language it is very much related with geography as well geography and whenever we learn any language whenever we learn literature of any country it is always important to know the geographical conditions of that country as well language is also affected by that and then comes autumn over there it means then the season of flowers season of fruits is over then comes autumn and after autumn there comes winter winter that is highly we can say uh, unpleasant uncomfortable weather over there because right now the earth that is the covered with snowfall heavy snowfall nothing is there just as in summer we do not in india we do not have anything plain fields are there high sunlight is there heat is there unbearable heat is there and there and be able cold is there chill is there that is the difference between the season between india and the england i just wanted you to know this as well so you see winter then autumn in after summer there is winter and then they are going to wait for winter and after autumn we wait for summer mm -hmm. now here we come with the poem text itself poem to autumn the poet is very much fascinated <clears throat> with the poem the season of autumn why season of autumn he says that the people they always love the season of summer season of rain but the people autumn autumn itself it just gives a feeling that it is going to be, to be the end it is moving towards the end that is the thing so the people they have a sort of uh, uh dislike or rather than we can say they do not have that much liking for <coughs> autumn <coughs> so here our poet says you know this is not the thing autumn season it is also has got its beauty it has also gets its usefulness it also has its music it is also desirable but it may be in a different way 
and it just is when we eat something sweet taste is there and a salty there and sometimes it's a bitter as well karela and i we eat and then it is a little bit bitter but we enjoy in the same way the poet wants that the season of autumn it is also going to be enjoyed it is a little different one so what are the different characteristics of the autumn season the poet is going to describe here so that is why we also see it is in the same mindset the bold letters that is the text is itself i think even if you have text with you it's okay if not then it is there in ppt so the bold lines these are the text itself and the simple lines that is whatever i want to say about it so the season of mist and mellow fruitfulness and the poet says ki this season it is of the mist and you know, early morning and late nights you know, this mist is there dhund a type of mist that is there the so season of mist and mellow fruitfulness there is abundance this is the season of abundance where we see different types of fruits i mean in india we have in the same way they also have different types of fruits and they all are going to be completely ripe i mean they are mouth watering close bosom he says autumn autumn and the sun because this is the time sun is also having quite heat. there is no rain there are no clouds so the direct sun heat sun rays they come to the earth in this way they are going to be close friends who autumn and sun so he says these are the two bosom friends close friends conspiring with him how to lord and bless both of them one friend autumn and the other friend sun these two they make a conspiracy they make a conspiracy for what they make conspiracy to load na na to fill the fruits with the ripeness the sweetness taste how to load and bless with fruits the vine that round the thatch eaves run thatch eaves it means kavelu wala ghar but he said thatch eaves run in the villages these the types of homes are there and especially in england or where the snow fall is there the people they have these types of home this shape so that the whenever the snow it always automatically falls over there so the surrounding the thatch is surrounded by the vines veil is called kehte hain lata veil veils they are suggested as in india also we do have na vines which are surround <coughs> by the walls and these vines they are filled with fruits so the poet says that there is conspiracy because of the conspiracy autumn and the sun they just make the fruits and they are hanging on those vines then to bend with apple the moss to cottage trees the cottage trees the trees around in the garden wherever the people they have placed in orchards the trees they must be hanging hanging uh, very heavy weight apples apples they are very juicy and if they are having kernel pulp so large amount of pulp so it means the pulpy apples they are <coughs> hanging on those trees <coughs> and fill all fruits with ripeness to the core to the core ka matlab completely those fruits they are going to be completely ripe so here we see poet says that during this season maturing sun and autumn season both of them they have a conspiracy that how how the apples should be juicy and they must have pulp how the vines they should be filled with uh, flowers as well as fruits and all fruits they are not the uh, we can say raw they are not the raw but they are completely ripe इन में कवि क्या कहना चाहता है पोए कि सूरज की रोशनी और ऑटम सीजन दोनों मिलके इतने अच्छे ढंग से फलों को पकाते हैं फल जो पक जाते हैं जिनकी सब तरफ खुशबू खुशबू फैल जाती है वो सब तरफ रह जाते हैं ये किसके हिसाब से कॉन्स्पिरेसी है षड्यंत्र है किन का सूरज का और ऑटम का नाउ सी दिस इज द सेकेंड हाफ ऑफ दी फर्स्ट स्टेंस हा क्या क्या एप्पल्स दे मस्ट बी विथ फुल ऑफ पल्प 
and the vines they must be filled with fruits with their weight they are hanging and now the gouts pumpkin sort of kaddu these are going to be swelling more and swelling and if the weather is good for as far as farming is concerned agriculture is concerned if all these things are good then automatically they are swelling they are swollen phool jate hain bade ho jate hain if the season and if it is not the complete heat is there then they are not completely ripe on the other hand they are not going to swelling a lot and the plum with the hazel shells nuts various types of nuts they are hard on the shell their shell uh, their crust that is going to be hard but inside the pulp or the kernel that is going to be sweet it means that is those who are related or those who have a little bit information about agriculture they know very well that season especially the heat of sun that is very important for all them to become ripe that is the thing so here he says during this season we have abundant fruits all of them they are completely ripe just as in india this year season is very good so the market is filled with in nagpur and we are living in city so that's why we do not have any idea how they look directly in the field so here we see the market that is filled with different types of fruits and completely uh, filled completely okay very beautiful to look at and very tasty to eat with a sweet kernel to set budding more another conspiracy and this conspiracy is to set budding more budding means closeness you know friends buddies bolte ho na we are buddies two buddies are there so here we see the two buddies autumn and sun they just carry on they stretch their friendship more for what for later flowers already so what happens the bees they are going to have more and more flowers in a large number and what these do with flowers they make honey so later flowers for the bees until they think warm days will never see you the bees they get confused they see confused still for summer has over brimmed their clammy cells clammy sticky chip chip their cells their bee hives they are completely filled with honey and but still you see the nature nature itself does all these things when the autumn uh, the system is there ki when till it is the summer is there or the bees make honey by that time the flowers are there but flowers go on they go on they go on coming more and more on the other hand their bee hives they have already been filled completely and now they are clammy sticky and their honey is dripping out of them that is the condition of the bee hives so the bees they get confused they feel that perhaps this is going to be this type of season forever this is never going to be complete so in this way our poet says this season which brings ripeness everywhere which brings happiness everywhere a sense of completion a sense of completion everywhere and now but still it goes on bees are tired of making honey bees are tired of just where to put you see when there is a large amount of crop and then the problem is there all the go downs are filled where to put things where to put wheat where to put rice so the problem it has been there for the bees where to keep honey the extra honey this is going to be there so in this way we see here so it says in this very this is the first stanza which shows that the autumn season it is the season which filled with completely uh, fruits eat winter that is the season of eatables gouts and hazels that grow soft sweet pulp abundance is there for all the flower all the fruits sticky bee hives the bee hives become quite a sticky sab chip chip ho jate hain sab taraf phool flowers bhar jate hain makhiyan confused ho jati hain madhumakhi ki kya kare itna sara unko lagta hai ki summer is going to continue forever it is never going to come to an end 
now this is the first stanza in which we see that here the poet he has presented autumn in form different he piece that autumn is a some person it is as the season of mist and mellow fruitfulness and a close friend of sun these two forms they have been discussed by the poet and for what and what is the result what is the outcome of this friendship poet has tells us that they vines they are enriched with vines vines means veil which surround the thatch eaves apple they are grown in a large number they become heavy and they are hanging to ripen the fruits fully these are the activities which are done in collaboration collaborative activities of autumn and the autumn and the sun maturing sun it means completely ripe sun that vines are enriched with uh, fruits apples are grown in a large number fruits are fully ripe and gourds are swollen plump the nuts with sweet pulp the nut outer shell that is going to be very hard crust but inside it is quite sweet kernel and to continue growing flowers for a bees for a long time and the flowers they are going to be continued for a long time and in this way creating confusion for bees so this was the first stanza now the second stanza in the second stanza here the poet discusses the activities you know what activities they are done during autumn season you see what happens when the fruits are in a large amount in abundance what do we do and you know, we prepare pickle you know we prepare jam jelly all these things they are prepared which are kept for the whole year so these activities also are going to be part of the autumn in india what is done papad bante hain aloo ke because right now this is the large number ye sari cheeze hoti hain and in over there they just keep say uh, apple juice jam jelly these are not the indian things they are the uh, we can say they are the european things which have come with the colonization colonization means with the britishers they have come to india so these things are there so all these activity or samatak fasal and a crop rice is ready wheat is ready so they also have to be cut and a fasal kati jati hai and all these things they are separated and then they are going to be stored in go downs and they are going to be keep safe for the whole year these are the activities which the poet is going to discuss in this very stanza it says who hath not seen the oft amid thy store here poet imagines autumn autumn is uh, some type of a, of a man or maybe a woman he just imagines it finally a person who hath not seen the oft amid thy store poet says ki poet here addresses autumn season he says jaise ki koi aadmi ho koi aurat ho usko kehta hai tumko sabne dekha hai who has not seen the oft amid thy store it means everyone has seen you these types of questions they are always answered yes positive who has not seen the oft amid thy store it means everywhere autumn is seen autumn is seen ka matlab it is not said some uh, person uh, wearing sari or wearing a dress but it means the presence of autumn it is felt everywhere who has not seen thee the you oft amid thy store who hath not seen you it means everyone has seen you everyone has felt the presence of autumn sometimes whoever seeks abroad may find abroad means in the outskirts of main area in the outskirts of the city in the outskirts of the villages sometimes whoever seeks abroad may find he may see you where the sitting careless on a granary floor granary in hindi it is called khalihan it means where we keep the um, keep these uh, crops store in ko hum sambhal ke rakhte hain fasal jab aati hai this sitting careless on a granary floor thy hair soft lifted by the winnowing wind winnowing what is meant by winnowing winnowing uh, when the suppose rice is there wheat is there 
इट इज विद इसका कहना चाहिए इसका छिलका जो होता है दैट इज गोइंग टू बी द लिपिड देन एट द टाइम वी जस्ट विनो इट we know it and the time we just separate separate the wheat and it's a, the leftover part so this is called a winnowing so here the poet says thy hair soft lifted by the winnowing wind and it is the autumn that is the season of wind as well but not the hard wind but the wind it is starts there so he says ki it feels that thy hair soft lifted by the winnowing wind the poet imagines you see what happens at the time uh, when the wind is there the fields they are cut and everywhere the, uh, different types of dust type we can say dust dust of the leftover particles of uh, rice and wheat so it is everywhere sab taraf jo hawa mein ud raha hota hai so poet imagines that these are the hair hair of the person hair of the author hair of the uh, autumn thy hair soft lifted by the winnowing wind or on a half read pure sound sleep half read pure hai na you see when the reapers reapers when they reap fasal kaatne wale when they reap and when they are tired they sleep or they just have a nap for some time so nap for for just na uh, power nap hum jisko kehte hain na thodi der ke liye they just have a power nap or a rap nap for some time they sleep over there so poet says ki perhaps everyone has seen you sitting on the granary floor or sound sleeping on the half read furo sound asleep thak ke soya hua drowsed with the fume of poppy poppy seeds hai na their a fragrance that is quite in it has intoxicating effect nasha jaise aa jata hai oh it brings sleep sleep inducing we can say poppy seeds they have got the property of sleep in- inducing the one who eats a poppy he feels like sleeping he just have the sound sleep so poet says he poet imagines that perhaps it is a, a person who is tired and who is just having a nap drowsed with the fume of poppies and the poppy seed ki khushboo se jaise mast ho ke soya hua ho koi बाइल दाय हुक हुक को हम कहते हैं साइट हसिया फसल काटने वाला जिसको हम यहाँ पाउसी भी बुलाते हैं पाउसी तो दैट इज द साइट बाइल दाय हुक इट मीन हाफ कट एंड हाफ अनकट आधा कट गया आधी फसल कट गई आधा खेत अभी बचा बचा है स्पेस द नेक्स्ट स्कॉथ एंड ऑल इट्स ट्वाइंड फ्लॉर सारे फूल बचे हैं थोड़ा फसल कटी बची है तो हियर द पोइट मींस सी वाइल दाय हुक इन अ स्पेस द नेक्स्ट वॉर एंड ऑल इट्स ट्वाइंड फ्लावर सो द व्हाटएवर लेफ्ट ओवर पार्ट ऑफ द फील्ड इट इज स्टिल टू बी लेफ्ट टू बी कट एंड हाफ ऑफ द क्रॉप दैट हैज बीन रीप्ड एंड ड्यूरिंग दिस टाइम द पर्सन हु इज हु इज रीपिंग और हु इज अ रीपर feels tired and he sleep so poet imagines that this is the autumn and sometimes like images of the autumn it means all these things actually what happened these things they are these activities are going to be these things are going to be activities of the activities which we see during the autumn season so he says that the activities you see granary floor par and half the furo and who is tired and now having sound sleep by the hook the site is the is cutting and now the half of the field that is left uncut and sometimes like a gleaner gleaner who just uh, separates the wheat or who just cleans cleaner keh sakte hain cleaner of the crop and sometimes like a gleaner thou dost keep steady thy leaden head across a brook brook means uh, we can say a stream jharna jisko hum keh sakte hain so 
So imagine, just create an image, image in your mind that some person who has just received the crop and he's keeping on its head and he is crossing a brook, it means he has to have his feet steady. He has to move very steadily across a brook when he is just crossing it. So he says that sometimes he is like a cleaner. He is just crossing the brook, crossing the stream. Or by a cider press. Cider press, cider to matlab apple juice ek tarah ka. cider press means the machine which creates the or which extract juicer hum kehte hain. In simple language, it is the juicer. Or by a cider press with patient look. With patient look. Thou watches the last oozings are the hours by hour. Last oozings ka matlab last drops. When you see, na, have, have you seen? When you just um, see the Skaganne ka raswas pine hum jate hain, to kya hata hai? He just moves and moves until the last drops, they just uh, come out of that machine. Na? So he watches. So the same thing, he put images or that the bottom, who has seen autumn's presence, where is it felt? See, autumn's presence, it can be felt by a granary floor or like a hawk reaper and then he may be like a gleaner who just separates the wheat or who cleans the wheat or by the cider press where the juicer is continuously making the juice and the, even the last drops they are going to be extracted. So these are the activities you see Every season has got its beauty. The activities, they are going to be presented over and you see here the beauty of the poem that the poet, he has created so many beautiful images, beautiful images of autumn season. He has just, all these things, they are the images, you can feel them. Now, half reaped crop is left by the side, side by. Adi fasal katki padi hai or as a gleaner with heavy load crossing a stream. A gleaner, jo heavy load ko leke, stream par kar raha hai. And third image, any person who observed the process of extracting juice. Juice is extracted. So these are the activities which we see during autumn season. And in a spring, what is done? In a spring, the people, they don't do much. Spring season, I think uh, I'm not also very much familiar with activities of agriculture, but still I feel that this is the time when the crop is there, but some uh, watering is going to be there, sprinkling is there, or some people, they just put various types of medicines over there so that the crop, it should not be wasted. These types of some exercises or some activities, they are going to be done during a spring. And during rain season, rainy season, what is there? rainy season the people wait for what the people wait for rice plantation and a rice jo hai uske liye kaun sa sabse season achha hai rainy season so in the same i just wanted to say ki that the different season they have got different types of activities so the autumn it also has got but its activities are different one of course the people they do not pay much attention to the <coughs> autumn season they are always fascinated by the rain and by the spring season. But here the poet says that the autumn season, it also has got its beauty. It also has its activities, which are these are going to be very useful activities because these activities, they are going to provide the store, the provision store for the people for the whole year. Now, you see here, these things. Here we see autumn is presented as a person. Insan ke taur par usko hum dekhte hai. Sitting on the floor of the granary, sleeping on half reaped crop, or as a gleaner who separates the grain and chaff. Chilke. Or number four, observing the process of extracting juice near cider press. Because this is going, these things, they are going to be stored for the whole year. Next year, then, so it means 
it is creating a sense of mellowness, a sense of completion. And all the crops, they are going to be ready to be sent to the store, to be sent and to be kept there for the whole year because they are going to be provided for the whole year. So, these are the activities. Hum kya kya kaam karte hain? Chaffing. Alag alag karte hain. Winnowing. Or extraction of juice. Rainy season mein hum kya karte hain? Plantation. But in this season, autumn season, we just, whatever we have done, now we are going to have the fruits of that. Itne saal bar kaam kiya hai. Uska fal, uska result milne ka time hai. Autumn. Now we see the stanza number three. Here the poet says that the people, they always just think about spring season. They think about summer. In India, no, we don't. In, in India, summer is a very unpleasant weather. We do not think about summer. And we think about rain. But in Europe, they don't think about rain because rain, it is cold. If it is going to be dripping, but they dislike being wet because this is going to be uh, bringing illness, cold. So they prefer summer, we prefer winter season and here autumn, autumn in both the places the same. So here it says that the people don't think about autumn. They think about winter, we feel think about the spring season and we think about rain. But he says, don't think about that. Where are the songs of spring? He says, here one thing is there. Autumn, uh, poet feels that autumn may be sorry. Right? Autumn may feel sad. That the people, they, nobody writes songs about autumn season. Nobody sings songs about autumn season. The people sing songs about rain. The people song, sing songs about winter season. So he says, he don't, there is nothing to be feel bad. He says, where are the songs of spring? Where are they? If somebody just craves for them, if somebody misses that, oh, spring songs, they are better. Where are they? Think not of them, no. Think not of them. Thou hast thy music too. You see, in India, we have different types of music. In the same way, some music, it is going to be in the noon, some type of music, this is going to be at night. You see the main music, music is always related with mood. And a disco set music, you just cannot have it in a puja. And in puja, this type of music, it, it is very out of place. And the type of music we do have in puja, in bhajan, these types of music, it cannot be like in disco set. Oh, disco mein nahi chalega, wo pub mein nahi chalega. So he says the different types of songs are there, different types of music is there. So autumn season, it also has got its own type of music, its own type of sweetness. So he says, if the people think or if the people remember spring, where is the spring? Where are the songs of the spring? So don't think. Here it has got a special type of music. Think not of them. Thou has to die music too. It has got its own music. What type of music it is? While bad clouds bloom the soft dying day. In the evenings, all the crop that has been reaped. And that is only the stubbles are there. Stubbles come the last part of the plant that cannot be cut. That is over there. So while bad clouds bloom the soft dying day, the day is going to come to an end gradually. And the bad clouds, it means the light is straining. Sunlight is straining out of the clouds. Bad They touch the stubble plains. The stubbles are there. The plain, it is the field, it is not completely plain, but the stubbles are there. When the sunlight it touches them with rosy hue. They become pinkish. It is the beauty of sunset, which is in the empty fields at that time. It means at the time of evening, when the fields are, they are filled with pinkish color, pinkish beauty. At that time, in a veilful choir, the small nets mourn. 
नेट्स हम उनको हम झिंगूर हिंदी में कहते हैं यू सी हियर द पोएट हैज जस्ट वी कैन से ही हैज डिफरेंशिएटेड बिटवीन द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ स्मॉल इंसेक्ट्स दे क्रिएट साउंड सो दैट साउंड इट आल्सो इज अ म्यूजिक सो ही सेज दैट साउंड दैट इज आल्सो टू बी टेकन टू बी अ म्यूजिक एंड दैट म्यूजिक इज ऑफ कोर्स इज अ म्यूजिक ऑफ ऑटम देन इन अ वेल फुल कोयर so that is that creates a very hmm 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 is tarah ki sound that is the wailful choir the small nets moan uh, when somebody dies you see so that type of a music uh, that is a sad type of music i think i am not very much um, familiar with music but i think when somebody dies the violin is there this is shehnai shehnai is sweet is there but shehnai that is related for happy moments and uh, when marriage is there what is they played shehnai and the violin that's me it is also both of them they create very sweet music but violin's music it is related with sadness i think hai na so the so just as the music of violin is different in the same way the sounds which are created by nets they are a little bit mournful wailful choir the small nets moan among kahan pe among the river shallows shallow Uh, we can say the water plants, water plants, and they are water plants. बड़े बड़े पत्तों वाले लेली कह सकते हैं हम. Among the river shallows, born along, उनके ऊपर भन भन करते करते ये झिंगुर मंडराते हैं. And they create a sound that is wailful choir है वो. है ना? Not the the single. If a single net is there, its a sound is not audible at all. है ना? But because when they are in thousands of numbers and when they create sound that is like a choir wailful choir actually the sound they do not create the sound that their wings so the spirit or the most so it's so sweet that it appears they are creating sound so then in a wailful choir the small nets moan among the river shallow born aloft so at the time the poet imagines that this is the music or Sinking as the light wind, and gradually the light goes down. You know, धीरे धीरे और अंधेरा होने लगता है. Sinking as the light wind lifts or dies. So, हवा के सहारे, है ना? Wind. फिर से देखो यहाँ से. Last line. Among the river shallows, borne along. Borne along का मतलब है, it moves along. Moves with the wind. हवा के सहारे सहारे जो जाता है, कहाँ? Or sinking कभी ऊपर जाता है, along. Or sometimes it sinks as the light wind lifts or dies. If it is uh, lifts, it means if it's windy, then the voice or then this choir song it is floated. Or if the wind isn't there, then it is not transported to different places. One song and the other one and full grown lambs loud bleat from hilly bound from hills. And when they are coming back. From that they come to down, and at the time they loud bleat. Bleating is the sound of lambs, memna, bakri ka bacha, bhir ka bacha, and their sound. This is called bleating. So this bleating sound of full-grown lambs. This is also a part of music. When the music is created, violin is there, tabla is there, and or um, other instruments. Hai na, shahna is there, some flute is there, drum is there. So these are the different types of instruments which are creating music in combination. So he says, full-grown lambs loud bleat from hilly wood. Hedge crickets sing. Hedge crickets. They are also a type of a small insects which are seen when it is almost night. When it is almost night, they are seen. And now with the treble soft, and their sound is very soft treble. बहुत ही हल्की सी सी आवाज हो जाती है एंड देन द रेड ब्रेस्ट विसल्स एंड ड्यूरिंग दिस टाइम रेड ब्रेस्ट दिस इज अ वर्ड जिसका सीना लाल होता है इसीलिए उसको रेड ब्रेस्ट कहते हैं द रेड ब्रेस्ट विसल्स फ्रॉम अ गार्डन क्रॉप्ड श्रिल श्रिलिंग साउंड इसकी सीटी की जैसे कड़ी सी आवाज दैट्स व्हाई विसलिंग साउंड श्रिल वॉइस इट इज हर्ड एंड गैदरिंग स्वालोस ट्विटर इन द स्काई एंड द सोलेट टू ट्रिंग And the chirping swallows they go on chirping, and so their chirping sound it is in the sky. 
so the poet says that during the autumn season they have this is a different type of music is there this music it is created by the uh, the parts of nature themselves the hedge cricket red breast swallows lambs these are the parts of nature they create in the spring season in winter season in rain the people create music they are motivated to sing song they are motivated to create songs they feel like singing but here these are natural activities and this is music so this is going to be the very natural music and this also should be liked nobody has thought that way according to the poet sound floats with the wind hai na sound jo hai hawa ke sang mein float karti hai lambs they go on beating red breast whistles and swallows chirp now here we see that the poet tells about the music of different it is different from the spring we cannot compare it with the spring or we cannot compare it with winter's music it is created by it is naturally created by will full choir so they are not musicians they have not taken proper lessons in music but still they are they have got the natural tendency yes he says so he means to say that rainy season winter season or summer season the music is a conscious effort but during autumn it is completely a very natural thing which comes out wailful choir of gnats bleating sound of the full grown lambs humming of hedge cricket this is humming whistling bleating wailful wailful choir and at the last this is the twittering of a swallow so these different types of sounds these different types of uh, sounds of the birds of the different types of animals and insects these create in combination the music so the poet says that nobody should feel bad and especially autumn because here he addresses the autumn this is an ode ode to autumn uh, literature students they are going to learn ode but in compulsory i don't think it is necessary right now for you to know but ode it is like a just as we do have in uh, different types of stanza forms we do have in marathi launi hota hai bhav geet hota hai hai na phuwara hota hai isi tarah se english mein bhi ode hota hai sonnet hota hai sonnet we are going to study so this is the ode so in, here in this very poem we see the poet has addressed autumn autumn suppose as a person as a living entity and he says you need not feel bad if the people do not think about you you have got own music you have got own beauty and the most important thing is the usefulness of autumn autumn season that is always filled with useful activity which are going to be providing uh, the provision for the people for the whole year so this is the poem and now and now we discuss the questions but before questions um, in this uh, very poem i just wanted to tell you something about the stream once again we come back okay i just uh, there's a queue ha huh. in this line in the fourth line you see in the third line also and sometimes like a greener thou na in fourth line thy once again thou these are the words i wanted to just point out these are the old english and just right now when we speak marathi or when we speak hindi so these are the modern version but if you go back to 4 or 500 years back the marathi is not the same which was spoken at that time hai na you are not going to understand gyaneshwari right now because the marathi is there but it is different different type of words they are spellings are different in the same way so i just to point out i just wanted to point out because you are going to be just a little bit having a uh, affinity with the language hai na so that's why you have to pay attention to these types of words d means you but right now nobody uses d we use the word you but 
in 16th 17th 18th century the word it was used to be so right from the beginning you uh, just maintain a diary in the diary you can write down these types of old words which are called archaic words and which are not used right now ha huh. now see the, these are the questions na short answer questions what conspiracy do the two friends autumn and the maturing sun make in the end of the first i hope all of you are just you have taking the screenshots of the ppts because they are going to help you to solve the answers so in the first instance itself this was there what activities uh, does, does the poet describe in the poem in the end of the second stanza what type of music it is going to be in the end of the third stanza so these are the three questions short answer questions you can you are supposed to, to answer them in near about 100 words so 100 doesn't mean necessarily 100 it may be 90 it may be 110 but roughly you have to answer them but besides them i have just framed some very short answer questions for you you can just but we are going to discuss one or two questions the rest of the question you can keep with you you see the first question who is the close bosom friend of the maturing sun so you have it means who is the close the close bosom friend of the maturing sun is autumn season these are the very short answer question maybe you have any question paper so at that time you have to remember these types of questions half of the more than half of the question answer is always going to be hidden in the poem itself so in this way all the questions i think uh, i have just 10 questions i have uh, set for you besides this um, we have sent some uh, very short answer questions as well you must learn them this was all i wanted to say about the poem the autumn i hope you must have understood and i expect that all the teachers expect that right now all these slides you must keep them safe you can get them prints out so that they are going to help you in answering during your question papers uh, i just try sir deshpande madam are you there yes i am there ha uh, madam i just at first stop share please yes Madam, yes uh, just um, can a link can be shared here i don't know perhaps yes yes a link can be shared now of course the link can be shared uh, but you will have to again put it on your desktop and then uh, you'll have to uh, sh uh, share that screen again but uh, i think I or you can ha huh, you can uh, tell them where to get the link ha ha i leave it to you deshpande madam ha huh. so dear students Desh which which link you want to share with them ma'am very short answer question multiple choice questions link ha huh. okay but we can uh, put it in the group also uh -huh. uh, i'll put it in the group later yes ha huh. so the link mcq so deshpande madam she is going coordinator madam she is going to share the link for the mcq in the groups itself and these three short answer questions based on three questions a uh, three uh, stanza and besides this 10 very short answer questions i think even if the format is not going to be the or for your question paper but at least you should try to answer because you are learning language so the how to write the answer and how if the answer is one sentence very short answer question it should be answered that way if it is a short answer question it means you should be able to write down in some six or seven sentences or at most 10 sentences it is going to be near about 100 words answer them this was all i wanted to say i hope um, thank you very much ma'am yes that was a fantastic explanation thanks and uh, you explained the yes and you explained not only the poems but the images and uh, everything was explained so well that i think it it must have flashed in the uh, in front of the eyes of the students i think so the poem and the whole autumn scene the images were uh, they could really imagine and uh, from the chats youtube chat which is in front of me they all have uh, enjoyed your session 
all the students have written they have really enjoyed your session mm -hmm. and uh, yes so thank you very much ma'am for explaining the poem in detail and coming to the level of the students and uh, giving them questions also all these things are going to be very helpful for the students so on behalf of the students thank you very much ma'am and um, we'll be put dear students we'll be putting the uh, objective questions uh, form google form uh, on the group please uh, solve the questions because only if you solve all the questions then only you'll be getting the certificate and there is a feedback form also the feedback form also you have to fill and then uh, then uh, tomorrow's link also will be shared with you so thank you very much ma'am and students tomorrow again we'll meet with another expert in english and till then happy learning thank you ma'am thanks dear students it's my pleasure to interact with you again yeah. to the beginners it is always my pleasure to meet these beginners with language and literature thanks manjushri madam for providing opportunity to me to interact with the students it's really difficult to teach autumn yes Anna, i yes. hope the youtube is off na yes ha but uh, ni nee, youtube is no uh, it's still live but i'll stop it now and uh, i'll just stop it and then